All right, everybody, take this in. The average American adult now spends over six hours a day on the internet. Yep, we're managing more and more of our real world lives online, which means we all have way too many passwords to remember. So if you're tired of hitting that forgot password button, or you're looking for the ultimate password protection, you're probably interested in using a reliable password manager like Bitwarden. Look, using just one password to gain access to all your login credentials sounds very tempting. But before you sign up, you need to know if Bitwarden is secure. Hey, I'm your host, Mike Vaughn. Welcome back to cybernews.com, your source for reliable, cutting edge commentary in the world of cybersecurity. And if you haven't already, down at the bottom, you will find that subscribe button. See it? There you go. Give it a tap. And if this video is helpful in any way, please like it to support us. Okay, today we're going to review Bitwarden and find out how it works and whether or not it's worth using. Now, let's dive right in. Is Bitwarden safe? I'm happy to say, yeah, it is. Bitwarden provides an encrypted vault to store all your passwords. They protect this vault with a single long master password. So you're probably wondering how the master password is protected. Well, Bitwarden uses a zero knowledge architecture which means that Bitwarden hashes your email and your master password on your device before sending them anywhere. So Bitwarden servers only receive the hashed versions of your email and password, and they hash them again before they're transmitted and stored on their databases. They even repeat this process every time you log in. Keep in mind, hash functions are one way only meaning no one at Bitwarden can reverse engineer them into your actual master password. Another element to consider is the encryption they use for your password vaults. They encrypt your vault with the military grade AES-256 cipher, meaning the National Security Agency has even approved this cipher to protect their top secret level information. The encryption key is derived from your master password and stored on Bitwarden servers in a heavily hashed form. They protect all the information stored in your vaults, from logins, credit cards, secure notes and IDs, even folder names using end-to-end -end encryption. This way, even Bitwarden employees won't be able to comprehend it. When you authenticate with Bitwarden, a copy of the encrypted data is downloaded and stored on your device. The data is only decrypted when it's in use and it's only stored in RAM. Bitwarden never stores any plain text data on their servers or your local devices. Bitwarden also has third-party auditors verifying their security. Now, in November 2018, Bitwarden passed a thorough third-party security audit and cryptographic analysis by Cure53. The assessment covered Bitwarden applications and their back-end server systems. Bitwarden carefully considered the findings and officially announced their actions to resolve any identified security vulnerabilities. Bitwarden also completed a security assessment and penetration test by Insight Risk Consulting. The audit didn't identify any major security issues, uh, but there were some moderate issues, and Bitwarden resolved them in one of their server security updates. Well done. Bitwarden is located in the US, which is not exactly a privacy-friendly jurisdiction. However, even if Bitwarden handed over the data stored on their servers, no one could even decrypt it. Bitwarden also meets GDPR, Privacy Shield, and CCPA standards, which means they're handling your data in compliance with all these regulations. So even if someone hacks your Bitwarden, your data will still be secure, thanks to the one-way salted hashing and other cryptographic measures they employ. That said, hackers can initiate a social engineering attack or install a keylogger on your PC through malware. No system is completely safe, you know that. However, if you have two-factor authentication enabled, hackers who know your password would also need to know your 2FA code to access your account. So there you go. Bitwarden source code is available online, which means it gets reviewed by lots of developers. This scrutiny helps Bitwarden patch security holes. They also have a public bug bounty profile on HackerOne. Bitwarden offers an excellent suite of security features. First and foremost, they offer an encrypted vault to store your logins, cards, identity, and notes very safely. In the vault, there's an option to check on your password to see how many times it's been exposed to data breaches. They also provide a password generator, 
so you don't need to spend as much time contemplating secure passwords. Bitwarden Send feature is a secure way to send information like text or files directly to another person. Bitwarden fully encrypts all the information transmitted, and you can choose to further protect the information by configuring the expiration date, maximum access count, password requirements, and more. Bitwarden's Vault Health Reports will help you identify instances of password reuse, assesses your password strength, and lets you know if your password has been exposed in known data breaches or sold on the dark web. These reports will also advise you if you're visiting a website that uses unsafe protocols to transfer data. You can also use Bitwarden to autofill your logins on the web or other apps. It shares your password across devices and will save you a lot of typing if you want to use unique and complex passwords. Bitwarden also helps you keep your account more secure with two-factor authentication. Enabling 2FA requires anyone who wants to access your account to verify your login with another device, such as an authenticator app, SMS, phone call, or email. Now you'll be glad to know this provider does not break the bank either. Now they do offer a free plan that includes unlimited vault items, a secure password generator, secure text and file sharing, autofill, and more. If you're interested in features like the vault health reports and priority customer support, then you'll want to consider upgrading to Bitwarden Premium, where you can reap the benefits of these features. This plan only costs 10 bucks per year. They also offer their family organization plan, which provides premium features for up to six users. This plan just costs $40 per year. Now I found it easy to sign up for Bitwarden on their website, but the hardest part was actually coming up with a memorable but difficult to crack master password. Now downloading and installing the Bitwarden's window application takes just a few clicks and the process is complete within just a few minutes. Appearance wise, Bitwarden's interface is very bland, but in my mind, functionality comes first. And I have to say Bitwarden is easy and very intuitive to use. Entering your information into the vault is a breeze and Bitwarden automatically separates my logins, cards, identities, and secure notes, which I really do appreciate. I also found it helpful to create folders to organize all my passwords. Another cool feature, Bitwarden will send me an email notification whenever anyone tries to log into my account from a new device. It's very safe. While testing the password generator, I was surprised to find that not only can it generate secure passwords up to 128 characters, but pass phrases up to 20 words as well. Bitwarden also makes it super easy to copy newly generated passwords into my vault. My only complaint is that Bitwarden buries some of their features like their password generator in the view tab. So it's easy for us users to overlook it. So yeah, take note on that one, Bitwarden. Now, if you want to import your passwords from another password manager, the import process takes only a few clicks, but you can only do it when using Bitwarden's web vault. If you want all your passwords while you're on the go, make sure you download the Bitwarden app. It's available on the Apple App Store and Google Play, and I tested the uh, iOS version, and overall, it was just as user-friendly and feature-rich as the version I'm running on my PC. The only thing I found unintuitive was that the option to create new vault folders was not on the vault screen. It was located in the general settings screen instead. Don't know why. Unfortunately, the only way to contact Bitwarden's customer support is via email. But if you're paying for a premium plan, well, you should at least spec to get priority service. And if you're willing to do the dirty work yourself, Bitwarden's website has a help center with plenty of articles you can read through. They also have a community forum where users share their workarounds and solutions. Okay, now if you've made it this far, you can already understand the benefits of a password manager. But I do want to stress real quick that they really can safeguard all your online accounts. If your credentials fall into the wrong hands, not only can other accounts get taken over, but in the worst case scenario, your identity could be stolen or your finances and reputation destroyed. Look, it's a grim picture, no doubt. And unfortunately, we uncover a colossal number of leaked data on a regular basis. Most recently, one of the largest compilations of all time consisting of 8.4 billion entries. Yeah, we'll link that article down in the description if you would want to read more about that. Overall, Bitwarden is a solid password manager. It's secure, user-friendly, free, and even the premium options are affordable compared to other password managers. I also appreciate that the company is transparent regarding its audit findings and its remediation efforts. Their customer support could certainly use some work to make it more accessible, 
and I'd prefer if they stored their data in a more privacy-friendly country, but not a deal breaker in my opinion. So guys, you know what would make my day? If you would kindly subscribe and smash that like button. Yep, that's it. You're hovering over it. Come on, click it right next to it. There you go. So, are you planning on downloading Bitwarden and giving it a go? Let me know in the comments why or why not. Thanks for watching our video. We look forward to seeing you in the next one. Later, guys.